chapter 1 verse 5 and 6 it's a one hour service so it's going to be a very short word if after the very short word you are not beleful, just stay for the next service <laughs> you'll still be closing in the morning so <laughs> uh, all the services today will end in the morning so if thou art not beleful, uh, they said we should do only two services I said no we can do one hour service we can even do 30 minute service Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 and 6 and from Jesus who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the princes and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from to go. You are still looking for Bible. <laughs> Revelation chapter, if you don't have, put your eye in somebody's Bible. Be responsible. Revelation chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Want to go? You, me, I, I cannot pastor this kind of people. Stand. If you have a Bible, you are, can access one. Stand. If you don't, sit down. You can reach a Bible right now. Stand. You can read it. If you can't read it from where you are, sit down. Not that you are looking at your neighbor's phone, and you, but you can't see anything inside. Can we all read to go? To him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated.
technology will always fail. So always carry your Bible as backup. All right? And so our text states very clearly that God has made us kings and priests. We're talking about kings in the earth, kings on the earth. He has made us kings and priests. If we talk about only the priesthood, the message will not be complete. So we have to talk about kings in the earth. If you saw today's devotional, I'm sure you'd have gotten the gist of it. We can't be priests only, neither can we be kings only. We cannot be priests only, nor kings. When Jesus died, when he saved us, when you received Jesus into your life, you became a king and a priest at the same time, automatic. You became a king and a priest. We can't be priests only. It has to be two of them. To be king or priests only is to be underperforming. Is to be what? To be underperforming. And it is to operate below your redemptive status. Below your redemptive mandate. Again, God didn't wait for you to... God doesn't need you to be mature to become a king. Kingship and priesthood immediately after salvation. It is like using only one leg. If you are only a king or only a priest, it's like walking with one leg or walking with one hand or seeing with, two, with only one eye or one, one of your lungs, only what is operating. It's the reason why God gave us two, 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 two. It's for the sake of balance. The sake of what? You will never be able to operate at your best using one of the two things that you have the same thing as being incapacitated. The same thing as what? Being incapacitated. That was why First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, describes us as a royal priesthood. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 describes us as a royal what? Priesthood. In the beginning of creation, God did not create us as ordinary human beings. He created us as what? kings. In the beginning, you were created as a king. Tell somebody for me like that. Say you were created as a king in the beginning. Tell your neighbor again, say I was created as a king. Kingship is not an appointment. Kingship is an inheritance. It's a what? Inheritance. It's a thing gotten by birth. It's a thing that passed from father to son so when, when man sinned in the garden, he lost the fullness of the glory of God uh, that he once enjoyed, which included dominion. When God created man, he gave him dominion over the kingdoms of the earth. And so the word dominion is where you get domain from or kingdom, king's domain, king's dominion. So man lost some part of the glory, part of which was the kingship. So in Romans 3, all have sinned and come short of what? Of the glory of God. But God originally crowned us with glory. He crowned us with glory. Part of our crown, according to Psalm chapter 8, verse 4 to 6. Can we have the, is it, is this, the screen is not ready yet. <laughs> uh, Psalm chapter 8. Verse 4 to 6. Let me see where I read it. It's going to take our time. Psalm chapter 8. If you read from verse 1 to 6, it even makes more sense. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Let's jump to verse 4. What is man? Okay, verse 3. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than angels, and crowned him with what? Glory and honor. He has crowned him. When the Bible says, All have sinned and come short, we didn't lose all the glory, we lost some of it. We were short circuited. And see, verse 6 is even more pronounced. He says, thou hast made him to have what? Dominion. You've made him a king over the works of thy hands. And thou hast put all things under his feet. You put all things under his feet. Okay? Uh, the next, the, the, the remaining two services will make things a bit more clearer. Uh, if you'll be able to make it. But if, if not, 
get the message, get the, get the CD or whatever form of the message to come to you. Hallelujah. God finished creating the world and made you a king over it. You must renew your mind on the way you read uh, Genesis 1, 26 to 28. Okay, he created the world and set a ruler over the world, made him king over it. That king was man. That's why Satan was very, very offended. Because this is what he was looking for from God while he was in heaven. He wanted to take it by force. So he was offended. So God threw him down and he determined that since he couldn't get the place of God, he would get the place of uh, the gods that God has created upon the earth. Hallelujah. God's intention was for us to have dominion as kings. God is not just king, but he is the king. He's not just king of kings of the earth. He's the king of kings of us. How many of you know we are kings also? He is the king of kings. God's kingdom is a kingdom of kings. There are no slaves in God's kingdom. There are actually no subjects. We subject ourselves the way Jesus did for service. But he is the king of kings. And Lord of us, lords. Hallelujah. Because he made us the landlord over this earth. He gave the earth to us. I'm going to prove it to you. Kingship, once again, is by birth, not by election. It's not by appointment. Kingship, any, any other means people get into kingship, is a stolen, stolen mandate. You stole it. Kingship is by birth. And that's why he said you must be born again. He wants us by birth. To return to our kingship. He said otherwise you cannot see the kingdom. I don't know if I'm making sense now. The kingdom you are supposed to rule. You won't be able to see it. Except you go back and get the right birth. Something has gone wrong with your initial birth. For that reason you cannot enjoy the things that you were supposed to enjoy. You know a man ran to Jesus and said. Good master what must I do to in to inherit eternal life. This question had problem when I over the years as I studied it. First of all, he said, you know, he said, What good thing can I do to inherit eternal life? You are talking about doing an inheritance. It has nothing to do with doing, it has everything to do with birth. You don't inherit by doing doing anything. I don't know if I'm making sense now. So the guy's question was very whack, very whacked question. What, what good thing can I do to inherit eternal life? You have just said is inherit. What are, you, what, what are you not talking about doing? Just ask, how can I, how can I inherit? How do, how do I become a son? I'm, let me assume he didn't know he needed to be a son. How can I inherit eternal life? That made more sense than to say, what good thing? Because they just know you have to do something good. It's inheritance. You don't do anything. You are born into it. Somebody shout hallelujah. You are born into it. First, King, First John chapter 4 verse 4. G, uh, John said, you know, uh, 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 you know, little children, you are of God. Little, you are of God, little children. You are of God, meaning you came from God. Hallelujah. It's just like saying, I am of Eket. I, I, I am from Eket. That, that's what it means. But in this case, say, ye are of God. I came from God. He didn't come. I am from, if you were to use it in a typical way, he caught Abbasi. But you know, if I say that, people from Ikot Abbasi will begin to clap and So that's not what I'm talking about. Is you, you hail from, from God, little children. You hail from God. You didn't come from anywhere. All original where you came from is stronger and older than this, your earthly ancestry. First John chapter 4 verse 17. He said, as he is, so are we in this world. Ah, so so you're, when you, the, the more you study who God is and how he is, the more you understand yourself. And the more you enter your, your royalty, your kingship. As he is, so are we. First John 4 17. As he is. Bold, fearless, courageous. You God cannot defeat you. You are a king of God. As he is, so are we. This 
even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. He has given the earth to us. With these three scriptures, I prove my point. <laughs> that you are a king. You are, not, you are not a passerby. You are a king in this world. Hallelujah. Now God says we shall reign on the earth. You saw that scripture in Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 and 6. He says he has made us kings and priests. And what will happen? And we shall reign on the earth. So let me try to find, to let us know what it means to reign on the earth. What it means to reign on the earth. To reign is to rule on the earth. That's what it means. To rule on the earth. To reign on the earth is to rule on the earth. To rule means you are in charge. Okay? To reign means you will be in charge on the earth. You are in charge to reign. To reign means you will be popular. It is not a righteous thing for a believer not to be popular. At least in your workplace. Be popular for something. Be known for something. You shall reign on the earth. You will rule on the earth. If you are born again, you've been disciple, you know Jesus, and you are a household name. Something is not right. And I'm, I'm not joking. It's a kingdom reality. Something is not right. At least be a household name in the place where you walk. Be a household name in your neighborhood name over time become a national household name i am not until you are a preacher it is by whatever means we'll hopefully we'll talk about it you know scratch it a little before we go today praise the name of the lord it means that you would dictate it means you dictate things on the earth you are that powerful you are that smart you are that intelligent to reign on the earth means you culture on influence culture because of you people do things because of you you influence culture there are many names we mention today that are not english words they are people's names <laughs> they are people's mercedes is someone's name toyota is someone's name are you get what i'm saying <laughs> uh, louis Vuitton is someone's name gucci is someone these are all people's names that's how, that's, a, that's an example of rain on earth. That's a picture. This is what I just there to show you an example. You are supposed to take over very soon. Your fashion brand is supposed to be a household name. I don't know if I'm making sense here. I see people who, some, some who sew clothes, a few sew clothes for me, and they put a name that, I don't know, where did you get this label? Print your own label. There's a young man in Abuja that, uh, <laughs> Trying to marry one of our daughters, so he found a way to reach me when I was a preacher, cornered me by all means possible. Our girls are hot cake. Oh. They, they, you are highly respected outside. Stop trying to be like people outside. That's outside this church. And I mean outside, not outside the kingdom. Praise the Lord for you say, I say, others oh, outside. Stop trying to be like them. They admire you. I see, I see, I see some of you forcing yourself. To look like the world. You are just looking stupendous. Sorry. Anyway. So. While he was talking about who he wants to marry. I found out that he was a fashion designer. As well that so clothes. So he was talking. He saw me. I was talking. About I said how much do you so clothes? Because Abuja is not the place to meet me to marry wife. So he's talking his own. I'm talking my own. He told me price. I said measure me. He measured me. I said, so when will you deliver? How much? Because I was not interested in that his wife talk. <laughs> I don't discuss certain things in outside some environment. So I don't make mistake. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so he eventually brought out of three, he brought two. In a branded suit bag. The name is Etekamba. It's not his name. He found the name. He crowned it. There's a crown. There's Etekamba there. I said, this is, uh, <laughs> you understand? Inside the suit, is it, and here is a household name in Abuja. People are rushing to get this. It's not the one that is showing. You get me now? You influence culture. Daniel influenced culture. Don't go to a place, they are doing it one way. Every place has an already existing culture. Change it. 
That's why you are there with scripture to influence culture. One is a cult, the other one is a script. Bring the script and remove the cult. Cult, I mean culture. Culture. No, it's scripture. Do you hear what I said? So, that's what it means to reign in the earth. Hallelujah. It means you'll be popular on the earth. It means you are popular. That's why scripture said, we have been crowned with glory and honor. We have been crowned with what? Glory and honor. So let's take one example and that's Daniel. He reigned in the land of Babylon with his friends. He reigned. How many of did Daniel reign? Hello, did he reign? You are looking at me somehow. Did he reign without Jesus shedding his blood? Oh? Some of us, Jesus still has to shed more blood and you have still not reigned. We are still demanding him to shed more blood. We are still pleading the blood. They reigned in the land. They were very popular in the land. They shaped the culture of Babylon. Just four boys, especially Daniel, shaped the culture of Babylon. When I look at the, 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 the refining, the fire they went through just to make this happen, I now realize what it would take for us to influence culture. Hallelujah. In no time, Nebuchadnezzar passed a decree that look, 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 look at especially after the three Hebrew boys defied him. Look at the decree he passed. Daniel chapter 3, verse 28 and 29. Are you with me? You need to open your Bible. When I open it so that you can understand. Daniel chapter 3, verse 28 and 29. Since they're not giving us screen. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Who is talking? The king. Who made him talk like this? Three boys. Three young men. Blessed be the God of Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angels and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Because of the doggedness and ruggedness of three men, therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything and means against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces. That is, even if you don't want to worship him, don't say anything against him. I will kill you personally. Is that influence? How many times do they not, do, do, do they abuse your God where you are and you can't defend him, you can't say anything. He said, be, 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 he said, be, be, be wise as serpents and harmless as dove. Be yeah, wise as a serpent. As a serpent, you, not, you should not to bite. Praise the Lord. And you run back to your something. But be harmless as dove. A serpent is not a full serpent until. Praise the name of the Lord. Is anybody's I will cut him to pieces. And their houses shall be made a dung hill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Somebody brought God out. The way we worship God, the way we take God in the public place, we make it look as if God is a myth. I am one person that knows that God is not a myth. So it annoys me when I see the way some people do. I'm not going to go deep. I'll just give you one, one way to fulfill your royal mandate. One way to view your royal mandate. But before I go into that one way, understand this. You will never be able to fulfill your royal mandate being like everybody else. These men would never have been popular if they followed everybody else. You will never be, you must be different. You must be different. I say it again. The, the world should look at you and you don't resemble them. In speech, in character, in appearance. Are you going to say? In what? In speech, in character, in appearance. You should not resemble them at all. And don't be ashamed to represent your God. Did you hear me? Represent him with boldly and, and with sagacity and audacity. When you are different, you make a difference. Let me put it where. When you are different, you become the difference. You become the difference. Be different.
different. If Daniel had eaten the portion of the king's meat, we would not know him. How many of you know that? If the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had bowed, we would not know them. I said the other day, I think on Wednesday, Daniel was the first person to be tried. And he interpreted, he gave the king his dream, interpreted the dream on top, the dream that the king forgot. He didn't have enough terabyte to download. You understand what I'm talking about? His, his spiritual terabyte was too, too low. Daniel went, received the dream, and interpreted it for him. The king worshipped Daniel with incense. Hear me? And with gift, oblation, and all that. By chapter 3, this was chapter 2. By chapter 3, the madness of the king returned. And he raised a golden image. As anybody that does not bow, put them in the fire of others. They brought out everybody, including Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego. They didn't bring out Daniel. He was a deity. Because, I don't know if you've asked, the, I've always asked the question, where is Daniel here? One day the Holy Ghost said, didn't you see what happened in chapter 2? How will you bring, can you bring out a God to come out? A God that can tell you the dream you dreamt when he didn't sleep on the same bed with you. So they just left Daniel first. See, they say everybody, they, they, they knew who everybody was because they didn't consider Daniel again. But if you had it's also the three Hebrew friends also stood their ground. They say, but I say we know the about this is our chance. Every time there is a problem, it's for somebody's glory to manifest. They say we're not buying. They didn't bow. The king said, hey, well, hey, well. Is the, who is that? I, the fourth man is like the son of God. Hey, from today, anybody speak anything wrong against the God, I will cut you to pieces. I will burn your house. Because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Do you know when they them? Do other than Darius, you see your Challenges, there's a promotion near. Don't give up your, your standards because, because what? So, number one way, I'll just do this, our time is up. Number one way to fulfill your royal mandate is solve problems. Solve problems. Then they will come and welcome you like Jesus. Uh, we three kings of Orient. Even Jesus himself was born inside a goat tree. So who be you? They like let them burn, me, burn you in the bomb specialist. You on your own. Till you manifest for all creation. Waiting for the endless manifestation of the sons of God. What men say is not possible. That's when the sons appear. Ah, the, men, the wise men of Babylon. The magicians told Nebuchadnezzar. What you are asking does not dwell with men with flesh. It dwells with spirits. And the spirit showed up in flesh. His name is Daniel. Woo! Imagine Daniel said, they said they will kill everybody. Daniel said, I'm not an astrologer. I'm a prophet. They said, no, come, you're among them. He said, no, king. Have you ever seen me do magic before? <laughs> have you seen me do magic before? Swear, swear to God, say you have seen me. No, 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 no. Let, let's be frank. If I was a magician, I wouldn't be afraid to die. But I'm not a magician. <laughs> Why is the king in a hurry? Tell him to calm down. King, give me time. I will tell you your dream. Oh, I like that faith. Praise God. He already made God proud. 
I will tell you your dream and the interpretation. Give me time. The king must have said, like, how much time? <laughs> Daniel must have said, one week. And I think within three days or so, God download, took the king's dream, downloaded. Ah, ah. First of all, the, 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 the magician said, king, when you slept, did you see us there? Say, no. When you climbed your bed, did you see us there? No. In that dream, did you see us? No. What's the matter with you? Not Daniel. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell, tell your neighbor, solve problems. Solve problems. He didn't run away. He took it on. Okay? There's to, to, so much problem all over the nation. Many of us think that our glory, all we pray is destiny helper. My destiny helper. My destiny helper. Oh, helper. Helper. My helper. Oh, my dear. Somebody's waiting for you to help them. That's how you'll be announced. Joseph also did not run away from solving the king's problems. I hear you can interpret dreams. Sometimes. Some, some, sometimes. It's not like all the time. In case I fail. He said, let the king tell his dream. And God will give you an answer of peace. Glory to God. And Joseph had been interpreting dreams every now and then. Till he was interpreting dreams in the prison. Please, when you are in a bad situation, don't lose your gift. Pastor, did you hear what I said? Uh, you're going to look like you're staring into space. Come back. When you are in a bad situation, don't do what? Why were you not in church? If you know what I'm passing through. At least you are passing through it. You are not staying there. You are not living there. Come to church and be passing through. But nobody else not pass through. Please, pass through. And come to church. If you know what's happening to me. Meanwhile, you're not sick. Oh, you are strong. So why walk away? Why you need to go and be praised? God, shut up. Even if your family has just died, show up. Don't lose that grace. Don't, 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 don't be in a bad situation and hang your harp. I will not play again. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Here we wept. We remember Zion. We hung our harps on the wheel. They hung their harp. Did they say in captivity you should not play your music? You keep playing. <laughs> Don't lose your edge. Because that gift will be needed at a very auspicious time. Tell somebody, don't lose your gift. Solve problems, solve problems, solve problems. Hallelujah. Nothing will announce you faster than problems. David was not announced king by Saul. He was announced king. Problems showed up. David was unknown, even as a harpist. A problem showed up. Provide me a champion that will fight with me. And, and if you win us, you become your son. If you win, you become our servant. What type of game is that? Why don't we all just fight? Let's see who will win. He said, no, don't need to kill anybody. And the, Goliath did something to them. Played a mind game on them and they fell for it. Goliath said, am I not a Philistine and you servants of Saul? And they kept quiet. <laughs> Have you seen that scripture? He declared them servants of Saul. He just rendered them useless. Before Satan can mess you up, he will tamper with your identity. <laughs> when David came, you know what David did? He corrected it. He said, you come against me with sword, spear, and sheep, and I come against you in the name of the Lord God of hosts, whose army you have defied. He called the army of Israel the army of the living God. Madakabalas. You won't win any battle till you change your identity. You can't see yourself as a grasshopper and win the giant. Before man fell, he asked him, I, he, You shall not eat of every tree. He said, God knows the day you eat of you, 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 you will be wise as God. Meanwhile, they're already gods. Who is God I'm talking about? You will win first service. Your word is always snack, snack. Let me close. That challenge everyone is running away from is the challenge meant to promote you. That's the challenge that will make you reign. Don't be running away from 
Uh, okay, what if I fail? What if you succeed? What if I fail? Fail first. Let's see now. <laughs> first. But you have not failed yet. And you are running away. Hallelujah. As a medical personnel, they will present you with something that is not in the textbook. Attempt it. Let them sign there. If the baby die or if the man die, it's not your fault. But attempt it. Ben Carson attempted to separate twins. I don't know which textbook he read. It doesn't look as if that thing was in any textbook at the time. But he attempted it using available knowledge. Developed his own. Today he is, a, he is the minister, the secretary of housing for United. That's like the minister of housing. But that is not even popular as minister of housing. He is still popular as the man who separated twins. That is what he is known for. Tito, and he is highly respected. He could look Obama in the eye. I know some of you are Obama's friends. He looked him in the eye. He said, America's problem is political correctness. Because Obama pushed politi uh, political correctness. Political correctness is the government says, this girl is a man. Call her a man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Political correctness is from now on, it's not Merry Christmas, it's Happy Holidays. That was what that black guy, our black man, go there, go spoil things. Black man, our, our own thing. Our own, white will have been there, they pass, they maintain. Black man, enter. And I'm going here, anyhow. This gay marriage thing, they've been pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. If all presidents avoided it, including Clinton, my guy went, ah! lit up the White House in gay colors. Black man. I hope with these three points of mine, so I to convince you. There is more where this one came from. Once in your life, you may even need to attempt to sit all through service. If not, buy the messages. Eh? Media, how do they get the message? Let me know before we share the grace. But get the messages. Download them. Your spirit. I was sharing something with my wife yesterday. I could pray for hours and I don't feel fire. I don't feel the weight in my spirit. <laughs> I said, what's going on? It's like a few weeks now. I'll pray hours. Not like, what's going on? It's as if the Holy Ghost whispered to my ear. Well, have you tried listening to the word? Like it's preaching. I said, it's true. Okay, so I just, okay, let me just listen. Some days ago, let me just listen to what. I mean, I will still preach. You'll be blessed. But when I get to the seat, I will tell my wife, I didn't feel, I didn't feel anything. He said, she said, you didn't feel what? All this revelation that was coming. Didn't feel, I said, I told her, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I began to listen to preaching. I just went straight to listen to my father in the Lord. Whose fountain I can trust. Tell that child that I'm preaching. What is it? Tell the child and the mother. Where was I? So, I listened to the message and I slept off. Listening to it. I woke up. The weight of the glory had returned. I said, oh, 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 oh. This is what I, oh, I said to myself. So, I told my wife. My wife said, how, how do we sometimes forget some important things? Because I will read massive chapters of the Bible. I can use hours to read the Bible. Hours. But there is something about hearing. There is something about hearing. It has its place. So I learned sense. Even before I came here, I was listening to what? Last night I was listening to what? I didn't sleep. Did I sleep? I don't think so. I was into what? Just downloading to my spirit. Yeah? He said, if, 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 if a man be overtaken in the fault... Ye that are spiritual, restore. The word restore means restore. Restock him. He ran out of store. You understand what I'm talking about? So I, the Holy Ghost reminded me, he said, you need to restore. I said, I know some of you have said, Pastor, what is the fault? <laughs> before, before somebody was taking, they have run out of store actually. Say so restore. I said, huh? oh. So I need to catch up bombard because we pastors are always talking always talking always talking always giving 
always then we some of us just want to gain back only by here only by study no you have to hear another person hallelujah are you blessed Let's give God praise. Thank him for the word we just received. We praise, we praise your name. We praise your name. Tell him, Lord, help me to solve problems. It's your God that is shining. When you are popular, it is God that is popular. Not really you. You are just the vessel. Lord, help me solve problems. Can somebody pray that prayer? Help me solve problems. Help me solve problems. Savior, you want to have a better relationship with God. You believe and feel that what you have right now could be better. You want a better relationship with God. Quickly, wherever you are, I want you to pray this prayer with me from Jesus. 